Rock congratulating you, Nancy, and uh, Ann Hopkins and the volunteers, uh, Mayor John Henderson, and what you've done to really promote the arts here, the Arts Council, all of the people who've come together to create this, which is such a wonderful, vivid illustration of what we have here, which is an extraordinary resource. It's, it's a national treasure when you think that in a place like the Sunshine Coast, there's such an incredible concentration of talented people. And what's more than that is the amazing way that people support one another and, and create an environment where the arts can thrive in such an amazing and abundant fashion. So the other thing about the arts, and this is something that gets missed, is it's such a powerful economic driver. And, uh, you know, our Minister James Moore, Minister of Culture and Heritage, has said some things I wanted to repeat to you, because I think it, it, it makes it clear that the arts have to be on the national agenda when we talk about budget and other things. And this is what uh, Minister Moore said recently. He said, supporting the arts is important for Canada's well-being on many different levels. Arts and culture is so important to Canada's well-being. Arts and culture represents $46 billion in the Canadian economy. Put differently, it's over 635,000 jobs. And that's three times the size of Canada's insurance industry and twice the size of Canada's forestry industry. Uh, we have a great treasure here. And I thank the organizers for this wonderful event. And uh, I just wish you great success in the days to come on this ninth annual wonderful festival. So thank you, Nancy. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor John Henderson. Um, please join me in thanking Nancy Cottingham Powell for putting this whole event together. Nancy? It's my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, our juror for the uh, for the festival Steward Art Show, Mr. Robin Mayer. I came in and said to Robin that I made a joke about I'm Mayor John and you're Robin. <laughs> and he promptly reminded me that that's probably the oldest joke he's heard in uh, Mr. Mayor has studied and uh, exhibited his work internationally. He's uh, served as a director and professor at the Victoria College of Art, the Alberta College of Art, uh, the Emily Carr University of Art and Design, and numerous other prestigious art education institutes. His work can be found in private and public collections throughout the world. So please join me in welcoming your juror, Rob Mayer.
not all of you who applied got into the show. Of the 82 works submitted, 39 were accepted to be shown. So obviously, somebody had to make some pretty difficult decisions. And that somebody was me. So let me address for a moment those of you whose work was not admitted. Lord, and also those of you whose favorite submission was rejected and instead who have hanging a work that to you hardly represents your authenticity or your dexterity. For this I'm sorry. Um, I wish things could have been different. But remember, as um, Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. <laughs> I remember that 50 years ago, about 50 years ago, um, when I was teaching at uh, Western Washington State University, I had a washroom, a small one, papered with um, exhibition rejection slips. Um, and I found it useful to um, buoy my spirits to view this um, phenomenon of inexplicable rejection <laughs> upon the mysterious fact that the jurors who were given this responsibility were clearly congenital idiots, <laughs> totally bereft of judgment. And I, I dote on that um, beautiful statement of John Steinbeck's, who said, unless the bastards have the courage to give you unqualified praise, I say, ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> this show represents my best opinion. I believe this is an opinion that is an informed one. I've been looking at and doing art all of my life. But like all opinions, it is not infallible. What I have tried to do in my choices is represent the quality, talent, and diversity that I find, that I found in the 82 works submitted. What is always disappointing in exhibitions like this perhaps in this show in particular, is that even from my point of view, there were good submissions that did not get in. There were very good works that did not receive an honorable mention. And almost any of these extremely good works could have been worthy of the purchase prize. However, the worst six artists who did works that received the honorable mention. And I will announce those works. Number 69, Miyuki Shukai Heart Center. Number 44, Barry Wainwright, a certain disquiet arises. Number 70, Roberta Holden, in Mavia.
only be one uh, artist to receive the purchase prize. And that I, to that artist I offer my sincere congratulations. Gordon Halloran is not an easy artist. The triptych he presents is edgy and combines obsession with an uncompromising clarity. As we observe the ladies from the jury, they observe us as we preen ourselves before their evaluative gaze, as though assessing whether we are of the same species or not. Tough work, worthy of the 2012 Purchase Prize. Congratulations, Gordon. Congratulations to you all.